I'm Tamara Becker. I go by Tammy. And I've been with Edmonds College almost five years. And I'm the LMS administrator. So that means I run Canvas on the back end. Um, but previous to working at Edmonds, I worked at a small college. It was more like 800 FTEs. And we works and that worked really well for our small little college but at Edmonds we have uh 8,000 FTEs this year so that that's quite a big jump and um they were trying to use Spiceworks free version for all of their needs and it wasn't working um and so when I came in because I had heard of Spiceworks they put that on me even though I'm the LMS admin um so I was like, no, this isn't working. <laughs> and we're coming up on our two year anniversary for Mojo. So I'm already sending out an email. Um, I'm getting ready that has a little birthday cake with two candles on it because we love Mojo so much. It is so much better than what we were using before. It's reliable and it can handle the no amount of tickets and agents that we have in there. So um, Yes, it, it definitely is a good fit for, for us. So um, the free version of Spiceworks, it was, um, I don't know, it was being over overused. You can, something like, we have like 30 something agents. And so when they all hit the server at the same time, it just would freeze up. And I think the amount of information it was trying to re to collect, it just wasn't, it wasn't working well. So I get calls sometimes up to two or three times a day saying, hey, can you reboot? Can you reboot? Can you reboot? And that was the only fix. And, you know, and Spicework support is saying, hey, we're not, we didn't design it for this type of use. So finding a low cost replacement was really important to our school because they're like, we have no budget for this because we've been using this other version, this other product for free. So when uh, we compared Mojo against other products, it really was right in what we could afford, which was nothing, <laughs> but they somehow scrambled and got money for it. So, um, but for our immediate IT managers, what it does for them is it allows them to look at where the bottlenecks are, what, what is taking so long for resolutions and then do those agents need training? Do we need to invest in equipment that keeps breaking because of those tags we can pull on that? And, or is it a process that, you know, we find a lot, we're tracking our purchases now um, in Mojo and that that's one of our bottlenecks right now. It, some of it's due to um, the, um, the shipping delays from COVID, you know, that we saw that in Mojo, how that backed up. And then as the, um, uh, what do you call that? Supply chain came back, you know, those things started, those tickets started to be closed, but we could actually see that in Mojo. It was pretty fascinating. Um, so that's kind of where we're looking at it. Like, um, I don't think we've gotten to the point yet where we're like trying to justify uh, positions or anything, but it is helpful more for training, like who's getting stuck on, on these tickets or are these tickets in the wrong queue? So I think the most, one, the most important thing to do first is find out what do you need. Um, so if you have, if, if you've already decided to go with Mojo, that's great. If you haven't, you need to talk to whoever's going to be using this product and or a solution and find out what you need it to do. And so that's what I did. I went out to our IT manager, so we have six of them, and I asked them, what do you want a product to do for you? And so I gathered it all. I may I sent it back to them. I said, prioritize it because you're not going to get all of that. And then we came down with just a list of what we need this product to do. After that, then we went out and we, um, I had a team of four people and we went out and researched the products and they did demos and took notes and decided, here's, here's what I found. Everybody brought back two or three and we looked at them and then we decided like, um, which one do we want to go with? Which one's affordable? And so once we picked Mojo, then it was easy. <laughs> So Mojo was very easy to implement. We were under the gun uh, because we were 
um, getting ready for um, uh, PeopleSoft switchover, which meant we were gonna, we were um, going to get a whole bunch of new tickets and questions, and our old system couldn't ha handle it. I had one month to implement Mojo, and we did it. It was it was I was sweating it, but it was so easy. The setup was very easy in so the configuration. You do have to think about it, like how is it going to work? Where are the agents going to go? Um, but that the Mojo was simple. Then training, what we did for training um, New Year's is, is we use Canvas as our LMS. We put together a Canvas course with some uh, specific training um, videos to how we wanted our agents to use it. It takes, if you really sit and go top to bottom through the training module and you're sharp, 25 minutes max. <laughs> There's four quizzes in there. You take the quizzes and you're trained on Mojo. It's very easy. Um, and so that's how we, we, I guess, put it together. The transition was very fast and very smooth. So um, I, if, I had, if I could implement all software like that, I would, that would be lovely. Yeah. 